I am an angelfish and I consent to appearing in this video. Hey guys, this is the Mid-Age Gamer Report for June 29th, 2012. Well, it's been kind of a slow news week, so don't expect anything earth shattering. Let's say it. If you're a fan of EA Dice's Battlefield 3 and got online this week, then you probably experienced some very noticeable lag across all the servers. The issue was intermittent, but was serious enough to knock some players off of the servers entirely. I experienced this myself on Thursday night, ending up in a crash to desktop. My stats weren't updated in that game till the next day. Today I was greeted with, a, with this pop-up from my origin client. For those who don't want to read the little notice I got, it says, Origin is currently experiencing an unexpected outage for some users. Our team is aware of the issue and are working as quickly as possible to restore the service. Thank you for your patience. That's very nice. That's the first indication I've seen all week that there's even a problem. Hmm. So it's an acknowledgement and they're basically saying some players are having issues with connectivity to Origin but the problem is being addressed. Still, other than that pop-up, there's no official statement on those weak server issues, at least not as, as of this recording. Ah. In other Battlefield news, BF3 Close Quarters DLC is now available for purchase on Origin. Uh, they're asking $14.99. If you're a fan of the double XP or experience events, there's one that's coming up next week, and it's going to run from July 2nd to July 8th. Now, here's the caveat. For everybody, it's July 2nd to July 4th. For premium members, they get the whole week. July 2nd to July 8th. They get double XP all week. Gee, I guess membership does have its privileges. Hmm. On a personal note, I have been playing uh, Battlefield 3 in a deathmatch mode, or basically on deathmatch maps. Now, you know I'm not a big fan of run and gun, but uh, it offered me a unique opportunity to compare and contrast between BF3 and MW3, or Modern Warfare 3. In short, it was a much more enjoyable experience. Unlike Modern Warfare 3, I was able to do more than provide a moving target. Since most of the online player, multiplayer in Call of Duty is nothing more than a variation on the deathmatch theme, I don't think I'm out of line to say Infinity Ward really needs to get its multiplayer act together. Um, see my other video about why I don't really like Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer. Enjoy. Now, if you're into Mass Effect 3, and hey, who isn't, except me, uh, EA has released a new package called the N7 Digital Deluxe Edition, and that's for about 80 bucks. It gives you most of the offerings of the Collector's Edition, minus the little male and female Shepherd figurines, which are available in the Collector's Edition, um, which is, is boxed and available from like Best Buy and Amazon. This is a digital download, so it's available from Origin and, of course, through the website, which is going to take you back to Origin anyway. But it's basically the same deal with all the same goodies. Um, and let, let me give you a few highlights here from the store page. They give you a 70-page digital art book featuring hundreds of unique and gorgeous illustrations from the Bioware development team. Okay. Uh, limited edition Mass Effect comic by Dark Horse Comics. That might be worth two bucks. An exclusive 4x6 lithographic digital print of a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Now, as far as what's in the actual, what you get in the game goodies, you get the N7 Arsenal pack. Um, so you get sniper rifle, shotgun, SMG, and pistol. Access to additional downloadable missions and characters. Uh, the Mech Dog Companion, whatever that is. Squad Mate Alternate Outfit Pack, so you can change everybody's clothes. I guess if you have a Barbie fetish, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, the N7 Hoodie for Commander Shepard's Casual Days on board the Normandy. I guess it is a lifestyle game. Anyway, um, and you can relive all the greatest moments of Mass Effect 3 with the digital soundtrack. Uh, and display your initiation in the N7 ranks with a collection of forum and social badges, avatars, and perks. I've put a link to the, to the store site for it. You can check out more there. 
Uh, hardware news, uh, both Asus and Sapphire have announced a new AMD API 7970 card. Both are overclocked with 3 gig of memory and extra cooling and power circuit upgrades. The Asus card is due for release the third quarter this year, while the Sapphire card is available now for $479.99. Clock speeds for the Asus card haven't been released yet, but the Sapphire offering comes in at 1.31 gigahertz. Sapphire's card is a dual slot design. The Asus card is a three slot design, much like the CU2 line of cards they offer. So it's a big monster. Uh, both cards will require 1.6 and 1.8 pin PCIe power connection. And I've put links to each, each product's page, the Asus and the Sapphire, um, at the bottom here. In other AMD news, uh, they've got the 12.6 Catalyst Beta 6 driver out. Um, or the 12.6 beta driver. There's also a 12.7 CAP or application profile update. What's interesting to note here is that for that there's fixes in these drivers for some very old games like Call of Duty World of War. There's a there's a fix for it in the 12.7 application profile update. The 12.6 beta driver has a tweak for Modern Warfare. Sans any numbers. Modern Warfare. In any case, I'm still confused about AMD and ATI's driver releases. I, I thought dropping the monthly releases was supposed to simplify things, but apparently not. <sighs> I think something's up when you have to tweak drivers for such an old game like Modern Warfare or World of War. How can there be possible issues with a game that uses a five-year-old engine? Something's up. Finally, uh, Star Trek Online is having a sale on ships. They're often 20% off till July 2nd. That's an okay deal, but since most ships cost multiples of the cryptic points you buy, it's probably going to leave you with some strange leftovers in your cryptic account. Ah, but such as such as it is. Anyway, that's it for this week. It's, like I said, not a whole lot of news, but uh, you know, enjoy your double XP if you're a BF3 player, and uh, you know, make sure you rush out and get that. Uh, Mass Effect 3 uh, Digital Edition, if you're so inclined. We'll be talking to you. You know, if I'm going to be in this thing, I think I should get some more airtime. In fact, I want my own show. <laughs>